Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic uh, full camera overlays like the one that you're seeing right now with the uh, lines going across. So uh, what, what's basically going on is we're um, having a full screen background, kind of very similar to if we were to grab a pumpkin. Um, um, basically like uh, so. So this is basically the exact same thing as uh, what we're basically wearing with the pumpkin on our head. Uh, it's just a different overlay for um, basically displaying um, different graphical artwork and stuff like that. You can do pretty much anything. You can set variables as you can see um, above it tells us the current time of day if we were to set time or time set set zero then it will start at zero and as you can see it's starting to count up now um, so yeah basically we can create different overlays and I'll show you what you need to do because if it's not done a very specific way then it's not going to work properly you might only get half um, a screen. So let's get into uh, MCrater and I'll show you how it all works. First things first, uh, we need to create the image. So uh, what I have here is a uh, 1920 by 1080 um, image, which is, I, I believe, not standard HD for YouTube. It's a... Uh, uh, 1920 by 1080 so as you can see the size is right down here um, right where my cursor is right uh, where it says area and then the amount of pixels square so it's um, that size and basically what you can do is you can color it however you want you if you wanted to do some artwork or some type of graphical image or something like that if you wanted to say just place down a shape in the middle then you could do that uh, we could uh, do like a little mail icon uh, like this and that will show directly right where it's well roughly where it's going to be uh, variables are going to be a little bit off uh, where it's um, displayed but uh, you could do that you could save it and then you could basically assign it into mcrater so uh, in mcrater what we have is uh, our resources and then what we want to do is import well, import texture and then we want to go down to import GUI uh, logo etc and then what you would want to do is import your overlay now we already have the an overlay with that name so we would need to change the name so I'm going to call this template2, probably underscore 2. And then we'll have another uh, icon that we can use. So if we go to our overlay and then open this up, on the, on the right hand side, what you will see is uh, the overlay properties. And then there is the rendering priority. There is also the overlay base texture. And under the overlay base texture, what you want to do is select your overlay image. So as you can see, it updated to uh, our little mail icon. And uh, now for the condition, uh, if you have a MBT or uh, some other type of variable to enable or disable it, um, then what you can do is you can basically just quickly create a variable, test if it's true. Uh, if we want to um, basically test if the, actually let's test if the time, we can also test other conditions too. So we can test if the time is greater than um, say 100. So if we go here and then we go and get world time and then set this to equal to or greater than uh we'll actually go like 500 so if it's equal to or greater than 500 then it will display the the time itself so when you have all that set up um all you need to do is basically save 
and then hop into the world. Um, we'll do that one more time just to show you that it works. Okay, so we're just opening up Minecraft and then we'll click on that same world. And then we'll load up the time here. Now it should be roughly around 100, maybe 200. It should tell us right above. So it's actually at 600. So if we set time or time set slash time set zero, then it should go away because it's not uh, above the um, time being 500. So when it reaches 500, it should display automatically. Um, we'll just take a couple seconds for the time to get there, but um, it will get there and then we will have that display again. So as you can see, it reached 500 and now it's climbing up. So now we are actually have the overlay over again. So we set the condition to do that. Um, but other than that, that's basically how the overlays work. If you need any help with that, uh, you can join my Discord and uh, there's a pretty good community on there that will be able to help you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.